So, let's look at what forms current and uh, non-current uh, distinctions. So, current asset. Current asset, we said an entity shall classify its asset as current when, when it is expected to realize the asset in its normal operating cycle. So what is operating cycle? That was the same thing we saw here, operating cycle. Huh? So it's been repeated here. Realize within its normal operating cycle. So operating cycle simply means the initiation of a transaction hmm, from order placement Mm -hmm. to uh, raising issue of invoice, mm -hmm. supply of goods, then uh, sales, then payment. Mm -hmm. So, this is a defined operating cycle. You place order, you raise invoice, you supply goods, they make sales, they make payment. So this is a normal operating cycle. When the asset is to be realized within this operating cycle, then that asset should be classified as what? Current. That's why inventory is what? A good example. Because inventory, the purpose is what? Buy into your warehouse, the place or produce into your warehouse, the place order, you raise invoice, you supply the goods, you make sales, they pay you back. So once any asset is to be realized within the normal operating cycle of a business, it should be classified as what? All right. Two, it holds the asset primarily for the purpose of trading. So a good example is uh, inventory as well. Now, let's look at a real estate business. A real estate company to have buildings or land for sale. Now, why building and land will be non-current asset to other companies? For real estate companies, they will be current asset because they are held primarily for what? The purpose of uh, trade. Two. The asset is realized within 12 months. The asset is realized within 12 months. That is within 12 months, the asset must have been sold. Four, cash or equivalent, except uh, restricted. So your cash in hand, or in your bank account will qualify as what? Uh, current uh, asset, except or unless restricted. So this unless restricted will arise. Let's say a company asks for loan. It's a hundred million loan. And the bank will say, yeah, we are going to give you the hundred million. But one of the conditions is that in your bank account, you must have a minimum balance of five million for this duration of five years, which you shall not be able to spend. So that amount is restricted. 
is restricted. So what happened is that such restricted amount will not qualify as current asset. Rather, it will not become what? Non-current uh, assets. So oh, that is a current asset. The same thing applies to liability. An entity shall classify its liability as current when it is expected to settle the liability in its operating cycle, is held for trading, settled within 12 months, and no right to defer settlement of the liability. So, three, disclose the amount expected to be recovered or settled for each asset and liability line item. Not more than 12 months, after the reporting period. More than 12 months after the reporting period. So this is telling you disclosure. Disclosure, you must disclose. Further provide further information about the asset and liability line that uh, will be recovered also to no more than 12 months and more than 12 months after the reporting period. So this is the principles of guiding the preparation of uh, statement of our financial position and how items are presented.